I am absolutely amazed by the ability of a Republican to redefine every single issue. They took torture and they turned it into enhanced methods of interrogation. Contraceptives became abortion-inducing drugs. Voter suppression became voter ID laws. And even things like a call for justice and accountability by our nation's police it became an anti-police rhetoric. But the governor of Indiana signed a law recently that says religious conservatives who own businesses have the right to deny you service because you are a member of the gay and the lesbian community. But my question is, where do you draw the line? Perhaps religious conservatives may not want to do business with African Americans. What do we do then? Put the science back up that says whites only, or in this case, straights only. Is this how you want to take the country back, Governor Mike? You cannot legislate discrimination. And by the way, where in the Bible does it say that your religious freedom supersedes my constitutional rights? If it is not discrimination, what exactly do you call it? And who is next on your hit list? He who is without sin should cast the first stone. There's no little sin. There's no big sin. Sin across the board. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves us all the same. And you do not have the right to deny service to someone who is paying cash for that service. You are giving Christianity a bad name. As a matter of fact, you should stop calling yourselves Christians. Because if you're talking about the Lord and Savior that I know, you are nothing like Him. And we here on this earth should operate as it is in heaven. You cannot discriminate against people because they sin differently to you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Obamagan's point of view.